So, Cara, hey, congratulations. Cara. Cara, Cara yes. congratulations. Thank you. Pink carpet of I'm a Virgo. It's How does it feel? Like? It's beautiful. It's such a beautiful moment. I'm really in a dream right now. I really don't know where I am. Really? I'm here. I'm here. I'm saying that I'm in a dream because it's so surreal to me. This is a very surreal moment. You know, watching, binge watching these episodes for I'm a Virgo. You've seen I, all I, of them? I have seen all of them. Wow. Like all, all in one night. Gig. Gig. Cara. Gig. Hey. Nice to meet you. It is a pleasure. And, and I felt like this was a, this was a dream itself. Yeah. Um, this, this story, working with Boots Riley, like this, all of this was um, a part of a lot of, I guess, I've been working so long, you know, I've been working so long in, in, in the theater world and, you know, being a part of a lot of different plays where my characters are affected by capitalism and then coming into this role as Jones who is really um, exposing the effects of capitalism on society and the world um, really feels so meaningful but also so kismet at the same time. Um, so yeah. So you could totally relate the activism of Jones in a series like this. Yeah, you know, in a weird way, it feels like an amalgam, a culmination of lots of different characters that I've played. They're usually women who are directly affected by, um, as Jones is, but Jones feels like, you know, I feel like as Jones, I am wanting to be um, a force of change for humanity mm -hmm. you know yeah well said and of course you have to act against a 13 foot tall cootie what are you staring at um, usually we're either staring at a puppet uh, a 13 foot tall puppet or a dot that you know I feel like it like I'm thinking about it right now and it usually to me like awakens an imagination almost like the imagination imagination of a child in regards to making it up and playing with what Hootie might what his eyes might look like you know what his hands might be doing what he how he's fidgeting um, but it's like um, ima an imaginary world in, mm -hmm. in that way. But at the same time, we spent a lot of time off camera, so we were vibing a lot together. Um, so we understood each other's sensibilities and, and quirks for that period of time. So, yeah. Well said. One more thing before I let you go here. Because we can't talk spoilers. And I've seen all the episodes, and, 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 and you read the script. Tell, tell us how exciting is the twists and turns mm. and the ending of the season. There's a point of no return. And once we, once we get there, it literally is the point of no return. The twists and turns, I think um, one thing affects the other, affects the other, affects the other. It, it's like, it, to me, it defies the structure of what storytelling can be. Right, what storytelling is rather it defies the structure of what storytelling is, and, but it is um, one of the most beautiful, complex, at times dangerous, scary um, joy rides that you're ever gonna take with your eyes. It's like one of the greatest meals you ever had with your eyes. Wow, that's a lot. I think so. Thank you very much. Gig, it's a pleasure. Gig, it's so nice to meet you too, man. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.